It's funny, I was really nervous to play it for my family when I first recorded them, because um, they're the most honest critics. My brothers, we write songs together, we'll just tell each other if we hate it or not. Like, we'll just be like, eh, I'm not really feeling it, because we're a band, so it's really easy for us to do that. Um, so I would play it for my friends, um, or I'd play it for myself a thousand times and make sure it's perfect in my mind, until I play it for somebody else. Um, and even Nick, you know, Nick, N Nick and I are best friends, so he would he would give me hints or notes sometimes, being like, maybe you should change this or this or that. And I'd be like, yeah, he's right. That would be awesome. So um, I think the first person I play for is usually like one of my buddies, one of my best friends, and um, kind of get their feeling on it. But I kind of wanted a basis of the record first. I wanted to build something that I was proud of first before I had other people listen to it because I kind of was sheltered for a while with it. Mm -hmm. I didn't want people to hear it um, because I was trying to go through like an evolving stage of musically. Because if you read articles from two years ago, it talks or a year ago, it talks about how I wanted to go to this Michael Bublé route, and I love Michael Bublé. I think he's fantastic. But for me, as a performer, I'm a little bit more energetic on stage. I'm sure you guys know I love running around, really jumping, yeah. off, jumping off stage and stuff, and that's just how I am all the time on stage anyway. And I was like, I need a record that kind of shows that a little more. I'm just having fun, and that's just my personality. So um, I was much happier now where I'm at.